this video I'm going to discuss economic releases. Now this is a major and huge and even varied topic. This is something that people go out and get degrees from university and so uh, when you speak of economic releases you're speaking of the data points of economies, companies, things like that. There is a massive amount of information that you can take in and as a result you have to be on your toes. In front of you I have the Forex Factory calendar but quite frankly there are several calendars out there that you can use. A lot of times they will have the forecast uh, of result of a particular announcement and a lot of times you can click on that announcement and it'll give you an idea of what it says and what it tells you about an economy in this case and it'll give you the results if it is after the announcements come out. Now the thing about economic announcements is that they tend to show the entire picture uh, in this case of countries. This is a currency uh, calendar more than anything else uh, but it does give you an idea that perhaps uh, particular uh, economies may be doing better than others in this case in the forex market. Now you have to keep in mind that uh, at the very least you should be aware of the fact that these announcements are coming out. So for example if you're trading the British pound uh, you do not want to necessarily ignore the fact that the GDP numbers coming out of Great Britain are coming out later in that day. There are a multitude of announcements that come out at any given day and some of course don't have as much weight as others so that in and of itself is a bit of a conundrum. Typically there are a handful of uh, announcements that really kind of catch the imagination of traders. Gross domestic, domestic product, GDP, employment, those are two major ones. Uh, economic announcements do not include monetary uh, policy announcements, that's uh, central bank type uh, issuances, but an economic announcement would be something more along the lines of consumer confidence or uh, the unemployment rate, uh, crude oil inventories. One thing that you have to keep in mind though that there is a bit of an overlap in these economic announcements. So for example the crude oil inventories number in this particular case measures how much we have in inventory in the United States of crude oil and that shows you a bit of the usage and if we have less in inventories that means we're actually drawing away from the saved, if you will, crude oil uh, in America. Now, having said that, you also have to be aware of the fact that there are other announcements that can have a substantial effect. Now, at first blush, it doesn't seem like employment would be a big factor, but employment numbers really can move the oil markets because, quite frankly, it has a bit of a knock-on effect. And what I mean by that is that if uh, employment uh, is increasing in the United States that means that more people are working more factories are producing more things because they're hiring people otherwise they wouldn't be that puts more demand for energy out there more demand for transportation of their goods and then of course the workers who are now working are driving more so that's an example of a bit of an overlap you have to kind of keep your eye on everything you have to realize that uh, the major announcements tend to affect several other things and therefore uh, a lot of traders these days will actually use these uh, economic releases as an idea as to where things are going but they also marry that with technical analysis